Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mobility with Dr. Josh. I'm Dr. Josh and today I'm gonna to be going over a really good routine for your knees to help improve the mobility of them. If you happen to have pain in them or you just happen to just feel stiff, this routine is really gonna help with that so you can do your workouts better, your lifts, runs, or just daily life better. You're gonna need just probably one uh, item, and that would be either a rolled up towel or a blanket. Other than that, you just need yourself. So go ahead and get into some clothes that you can easily move around in, and let's get going. We are going to start, we won't even need the blanket to start off with. Go ahead and start on all fours, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we're gonna start in a child's pose today. If you're unfamiliar with that, all you're going to do is just sit back on your heels, however far you can. If you feel any sharp pain, just go ahead and back out of that. You don't wanna, you don't really wanna go too far into that. And then you're gonna come forward, hook your 10 toes under, shift your hips up and back into a, well, another yoga pose called downward dog. And you're gonna come back onto all fours. And we're gonna cycle between those two things about 10 times. Coming back, you can either let your foot come flat or hook your 10 toes under and just keep them there. I'm gonna do that just for convenience. Up and back. As you come up, try to straighten your knees as much as you can. If that means you gotta lift your heels up, that's fine. Make sure your arms are straight as well. You don't wanna have any slack in them. This will really help to just get some general mobility in your knees, but because it's a uh, somewhat of a, a weight-bearing position, you also get the body warm. So this is a good dynamic warm-up to warm the body up and get it ready to do the subsequent mobility exercises that we're going to do. A couple more. Last one. Dig those heels down. Come back, boom, first one done. Next thing, we're gonna give a little extra love to the ability to straighten the knee. For a lot of people, they have desk jobs and they're sitting eight hours a day. So if you think about that, that's eight hours that your knee is spent in a bent position like that. So you can imagine that after a while, it can be uh, painful to do, it could be painful to strain out your knee all the way, or sometimes people might have pain near the, the, the end of a squat or something like that. So grab your blanket or towel. You want to roll it up so that it's pretty high up off of the ground. And then put one foot on the towel or blanket. Other hand is going to go behind, so whatever leg is on the blanket, same arm is going to go behind. Other hand is going to be on the front of the thigh with the elbow resting on the opposite knee. Squeeze the quad muscles on the top of your thigh, so dig down and then give a little bonus push down into the ground with your hand. And we're going to do 10 of these, just nice and controlled. You don't have to hold for a super long time. Just squeeze the quad and push, and then relax. Squeeze the quads, push, and relax. You can see that I'm getting my body weight into it a little bit, and you wanna do that to the extent to where it doesn't cause pain, but again, just sitting in that slight to moderate discomfort level. Okay. 
and your toes don't necessarily have to be either up or down, just they can be pretty relaxed for this. Couple more. All right, as always, we got to even out. I'll just switch so that you have a little bit of a better angle, but you don't have to actually <laughs> rotate. All right, so whatever leg was on before, use your other leg to put it on. Again, same arm is going to go back, other knee bent, opposite hand on top of the thigh with your elbow resting on the inside of your bent knee. Contract and push. Contract and push. And if you do find that there's pain with this, one thing that you can do that can help a lot of the times is if you have a foam roll, is to just kind of foam roll the, your quads and your, your hamstrings. And a lot of times that can decrease that pain perception and make doing mobility exercises like this way more tolerable. So that's an option for you if you do find that this or any of the other exercises that we do are uh, challenging for you. One last note, this may or may not be obvious, but I'm pushing above my knee. I'm not placing my hands directly on my knee. That would hurt a lot. So pushing right above it. One more here. Good. So now we've worked with bending the knee, we've worked with extending the knee or straightening it out, and we've done even more with straightening it out doing that exercise, because the first exercise I did that a little bit was going into that downward dog position. Next, we're gonna be working on the muscles that line the thigh that go down to the knee. So if we can decrease the irritability of those, then a lot of times we can help alleviate that knee pain loosen up your knee and allow you to get into those lifts a lot easier. The first stretch we're going to do is for the inner thighs and it's going to be kind of like a, I think it's called a frog pose and you're going to have your, I think this will probably be a good angle. You're going to have your knees on either side of the mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, then just have your knees so that they're outside of your shoulders with your hands under your uh, hands under your shoulders. Legs are going to be pointing straight down. Once you're in this position, shift your hips back until you feel a pull on the inside of your legs. Those would be your, your adductors. And mine are always tight, so I'm certainly not a champion with my ability to to go back, but it's certainly improved in the time that um, that I've been working on my mobility. Trust me, I came from a <laughs> a very uh, I guess stiff or tight place, um, and just constantly working on my mobility is is it it can be a lengthy process, but it's also a rewarding process when you when you see the progress of it. Okay, enough talking. We're gonna add some contract relax. So you're gonna dig your knee and foot down into the floor at the same time. Almost think about trying to pinch your, you can also think about trying to pinch your legs together too. And relax, see if you can sink in. We're gonna do five of these. So push and relax. You can come onto your forearms if you want. Three more at your own pace. You can incorporate some breath work into this as well. So as you contract, you can inhale and then exhale as you sink back. All right, and come out of that. When you're doing breath work, especially when you're incorporating it with mobility, it's often a good visual to try to breathe into the area of restriction you have. So for example, for that, since we are working on stretching the inside of the thigh, if you think about expanding that breath into the inside of the thighs and then as you exhale, think about just 
everything just letting go and, and releasing. And that can actually have a really profound effect in a, in a short amount of time. We got the inside of the thighs. Now we need to work on the hamstring, so the back of the thighs. We aren't gonna do what I would say is the traditional method, so we're not gonna sit and, and kind of stretch forward like that. We're actually gonna take a ground up approach. Go ahead and get into, get on your feet and get into kind of a squat position. And you want your fingertips to be on the ground like this. All right, if you're, if you're really flexible, you can put your hand on the ground. But for my sake, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my fingertips there. Once you're here, feet are shoulder width apart roughly. You're gonna work on driving your hips up to the ceiling while keeping your fingertips on the ground. So don't let them come up. So set your hips up and you will more than likely feel some pulling in the back of your hamstrings. And that's exactly what I want you to feel. So once you get there, come on back. And we're gonna do 10 of these. Work on doing some of the, the breath work along with it. So as you come up, do a nice exhale. And then as you bring your knees down, do an inhale. So inhale down. And exhale up. And you can kind of work with some breath work doing that. Just easing into it with each rep, seeing if you can drive those hips a little bit higher. As you do this, keep in mind squat form. What I mean by that is make sure your knees aren't caving in, going in like that at all. Keep them trailing right over your toes. Couple more. Hopefully you find that as you do more and more of these, you might be able to straighten out a little bit more. Okay, good there. Go ahead and rest on your knees or just sit on down. And we have one more exercise to take care of, and that is the dreaded hip flexors. So these, it, this is, kind of correlates to what I was talking about earlier for people who sit at desk jobs. They are sit in a bent knee position, but they're also sit in a bent hip position. And so that can really cause your hip flexors to tighten up. And so we need to try to relax those as much as we can. And this next exercise is gonna help with that. You're gonna need the blanket again, or towel. So go ahead and grab that. And you're gonna throw it just against, not against the wall, a little bit away from the wall, maybe like half a foot or so. Get on all fours and your knees are going to be on the, they're gonna be on the blanket and your feet are gonna be on the wall. We're gonna work one leg at a time. Let's start with the right. You're gonna shift your weight to your right foot, bring your left foot over, come back to center. And with the foot that's on the wall, you can do a couple different things. One, you can bring your knee back in order to feel the stretch more. We're gonna, the, the goal is to feel it in the front of the thigh. And with your foot, you can either have it so that your toes are, are curled uh, under, or you can have it so that the top of your foot is resting against the wall. I personally like the first method just because we're gonna be doing some contract relax. And if you're the top of your foot, it just doesn't feel very good when you're kicking against the wall. So I would personally recommend this, but uh, you're certainly welcome to do whatever variation you like. While you're here, go ahead and lean forward and you should start to feel a nice pull in the front of your thigh. If not, you can progress further by putting your hands on your knee, pushing up to stand, and that, you should feel that. If you still don't, what I would cue you to do is to squeeze your, your butt muscles, okay? Squeeze your glutes, and that'll kind of tuck your, your pelvis in the right way to stretch your hip flexor. Let's do a couple deep breaths here. And breathe into that restriction.
Now for some contract relax. We're gonna do five. How you're going to contract is you're gonna to try to kick your foot down to the ground. Since the wall is there, it's obviously gonna keep you from pushing down and that'll activate your quads and relax. With each relax, try to uh, scoot forward. So push and relax. Try to keep that, that pelvic tilt by squeezing the glute. Push, relax. Couple more at your own pace. You can either keep a similar pace to me or you can go a little slower. And there's a little bit of an element of balance with this too. So you'll get a little bonus benefit from doing this. Okay. Put your hands down on the ground, swing that right knee back and place your left foot on the wall. Scoot your weight over to that left foot and then bring your other foot down, shift back to center and scoot your back knee uh, toward the wall as needed in order to feel the stretch. Again, you can hook your toes under or you can have the top of your foot against the wall. Okay, if you feel the stretch, stretch here, perfect. If not, then go ahead and come on up to your knee. Ooh, and my left one's tighter. That's good. All right, a couple deep breaths. As you exhale, see if you can go forward. And contract, relax. So kicking down into the ground a little bit against the wall. Push, relax, try to go forward. Keep that butt activated. So you want that tilt so you can feel the stretch better. Push, relax, and then three more on your own. You can coordinate the breath work with this. And boom, there we go, all done. Go ahead and come out of that, bring your knee back and then just swivel your legs on down. Okay, so that's the end of the mobility portion. As I talk about in other videos, mobility gives you a window of opportunity to be able to do movements that are ordinarily difficult for you or painful or tight, anything like that. So now that we've opened that window, we need to, to lock in the mobility that we've attained. You can do that several ways. It, uh, I've done squats for my prior videos on on hip and ankle, you can do squats. That tends to be the most common one. I'm gonna do lunges today though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna shift the camera up though. Okay, let me move this. In a standing position, go ahead, put one foot forward, other leg back. I'm just gonna do stationary lunges. You can do walking, reverse lunges. I'm just gonna do stationary so that I stay in the frame of the camera. And just go straight down and then back up. Straight down. And I'm gonna do 10 of these on each side. You can do the same amount that I do, or you can do uh, a little bit more, it's up to you. Or you can do a whole nother movement entirely. That's the beauty of all these mobility exercises and routines is that all I do is provide a guide for you and then you can tailor it and experiment all on your own to figure out what works best for you. For lunges, make sure you're not hinging forward at the hips. Try to keep a nice upright trunk. Make sure your knees aren't coming in or doing anything too wonky and make sure they aren't going past the toes. Those are kind of the three main things to look at. Okay, let's switch sides. Now the left foot's going forward or just use the opposite foot that you just did. Other one going back and then going straight down for 10 of these. Same deal, keep a nice upright trunk 
knees are going in line of the toes, not in or out. And I'm feeling this. All right, a couple more. Boom, all right. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that routine. If you found it to be helpful, definitely give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments below on how you liked it or if you have any suggestions for future videos and routines that you want to see. And if you loved it and you want to follow along and keep uh, stay up to date with all the future videos that I release, definitely hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, I will see you in the next video.